Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We are finally at war with our neighbors, the, the other Arden Mages, and uh, we are gonna forcefully integrate them in our empire, I think. I already clicked away a message, they uh, basically told us that we should uh, go for um, go for a peace deal now because we won one city and we took one city and we got what we wanted but uh, they seem to misunderstand it's not really what I want what I want is all that's green on this map to turn blue and uh, basically take over the world that's what I want so I'm not gonna rest with one city but yeah you keep begging uh, I like that oh yeah <laughs> no I'm kidding of course I'm kidding um so I'm just gonna take a quick stock and look through our city. So I already, because I started playing, but I completely was oblivious to the fact that I should be recording this. So I already did a little bit, but it's just clicking away that message and then rearranged my people from production to food. Um, cause the Borough Street's gonna finish in one turn no matter what, so I can just take out all my people from production. Uh, but it doesn't help that much if I put more on food. And uh, let's just have it like that. Um, and next turn, or when we finish the Borough Streets, I'm gonna... Well, I can actually queue up the Alchemy Workshop, but I'm gonna um, just do the, the next Borough Street, next district, so we can finish the Triangle in Tolillion. That would be nice. Okay, what do we have here? They are busy, it seems. Hmm. Could go for a little triangle like this, maybe. You know, like here. But I'm not sure if we do have, indeed, the production for that. Maybe we just go for a little ball, like do districts around here and uh, in this area. Not really sure. We'll see. Okay, um, go through here. That's fine. You're gonna get the Borough Street soon. Actually can move a couple people back on production. That wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> that wouldn't hurt at all. We don't need that much dust now. So, could just do it like this. That seems fine. Okay. And we are slowly running out of buildings to build, so we do need... Um, we do need this National Museum, I feel. But first, of course, we're going to get the production line, because that's going to allow us to strengthen our production quite a bit, and then we can get a couple of um, more buildings and, yeah, profit from that production. Okay, uh, only forgot Madinev. Ah, uh, you're building borough streets, that's fine. You're also growing. Eh, just leave it like that. Three turns is fine. And over here, we can't do much. I could buy out stuff, but really, who cares? Um, I'm going to re redistribute the um, population to dust and science, because you don't get... Um, you don't get... What you call that? A malice? A percentage-based malice for that? Um, but unhappiness only affects food and production, so until they are at least a little happier, we are gonna have them in food and uh, not in food, in science and dust. Anywho, that should do it for the setup, and we took a quick stock, so I know what everything's doing. I want to siege a couple of turns, maybe, maybe two. I uh, hopefully also we can draw out the Arden Mage army. That would be nice. Like if they came here and, and fought us, that would really be nice. Because I don't want them to come um, to you know invade one of our other regions where we then have to remove our army and yeah, it's just gonna cost time. And time is what we don't have because I want to finish this playthrough ASAP. Okay, so we got one sieging turn in. Maybe we will do one more, but I gotta keep an eye out, and I think I'm just gonna buy a watchtower or two. How much do you cost? And if we put you here, 200, yeah, that's cheap. So maybe just 
by the watchtowers here and here just so I can uh, just so I'll be notified in time before the art mages try and cross our borders and try and invade our lands I don't think they can go through rowing clan territory so that should be safe enough but they can go through here through Tural and even though I don't care about Tural at all but it could be an entrance point towards Atmes and um, taking back their city so wait did you stop what the hell happened here? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I got... Okay. Well, at least we found 100 dust, but... That was... No! What are you... I hate you. Okay, nice. So I managed to position my army at the equidistant point. <laughs> oh, man. Why can't I just... Why can't things just work sometimes? Wonder though, this city does look really nice, but it's also... Is it really necessary? Can't we go... Why can't I attack them from here? We're gonna try that first, but basically what I did is I forgot about my movement queue that I had, moving my army here to check out the ruins. And of course when you click and turn, then the movement's gonna be carried out and I had this yeah like this little movement queue and it got carried out so it broke the siege and there we go now they're regenerating and then I misclicked and my army oh well <laughs> anyway nothing bad happens it's just costing us time but uh, hopefully the art mages just pull together their army and try and attack us that would be really really helpful if they do that because then we don't have to go search them we can just annihilate their army and be done with the war basically okay so let's try that again now if we go no I don't want to search maybe if we go here I can attack the city so I will just do that because two militia and I'm just gonna go auto combat because there's no way in hell they could even harm me yeah I don't even get experience for that, that's okay. So now we got two regions. What do you know? And we're gonna build the central market, canal system, empire mint. Mm, what are they saying? Oh, they got no other basics. And we're gonna go for the same logic. I'm just gonna try, make sure they don't... What's that? I got minus one now. And now I get minus four. Uh, no matter what? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it must be a... Is that just a graphical glitch? Because we are making 17 now. It, it, in total we make more when we move the people over there. It just says more minus. That's weird. Anyway, we're just going to split the population again between dust and... Oh, maybe a little influence couldn't hurt. Maybe we get a little of that. Because why not? And the map gets more blue. So uh, I'm happy we don't... Well, let's just look... Oh, now we can walk through here. Okay, that's cool. So we can check out those ruins down there. And go to Solidnar. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. They got five people in there, so I guess that's going to be a little tougher to crack. But should still be pretty easy. Like, hmm, we could go for the wine booster, but I don't think we're. Yeah, uh, actually, wouldn't be the worst idea ever. <laughs> wouldn't be the worst. Now, do we have any? We don't have any happiness tech queued up, and I don't think we have much anyway. Yeah. There's not much we can do to make our people more happy. We got this red and circus tech. And I think in the next era there's another tech we can get. Where is it? Imperial News Network. Wow, there's quite a lot of happiness techs actually in the next era. So I'm not going to bother with that. But that does mean we should... 
maybe go for the wine booster. And I should fire that now before we get more city, because to my knowledge the boosters get more expensive the more cities you have. So I'm gonna fire that and that should make our empire, yeah. I mean of course there's gonna be some rebellions because we have new cities that are not yet integrated fully and they're gonna be unhappy, but that is okay. Uh, at least our normal cities, our regular cities, won't suffer from our aggressive expansion. Okay, um, what did I forget? Probably nothing. So let's just take the turn. We're gonna get a new district up here. Oh, I forgot Tolilian. Yeah, I knew there was something. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> I forgot Tolilian, of course. But it's okay, we will get the... Alchemy Workshop, which I don't really need that much, but then on the other hand it never hurts to have one, right? So we just go like that. Should be fine now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, that doesn't really help, but looks fine. They'll grow at a decent rate. How about you? Oh, you will first of all get a couple of extractors. And I also I kept talking about how this tech the construction center is just a passive tech and I'm gonna research it, blah blah blah, because we are already busy building so much stuff. It's not passive, it's also a building. Maybe I should... I'm not sure if the... Actually, let's check that before I make myself look worse than I actually am. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, it does say city improvement. Okay. So, um... This thing here is just an empire improvement, and you get it, and then you get minus 25% expansion disapproval overall, and that's it. But uh, this guy here is just a building, and you can see that because it... Uh, I can't hover my mouse over it, but you can see here. It does say city improvement uh, in brackets military. So if I would have read that, I would have known that it actually has to be built. But that is okay. We just focus on getting more population now. That's fine. Six turns. Actually get a little influence as well. Or maybe a little science. Yeah, that looks decent. And probably want to get an Atashi Zealot up here. So maybe do it like this. That looks fine. Okay. Um, here we got this. Here we got... Borough Street's going. Mm, do we need anything else? No, we don't. And now we also got two watchtowers, so we can... Yeah, actually it didn't help that much. Can't see this region here, but... Yeah. Anyway, it's a little help. And one. a little bit is better than nothing, right? So now we can search those ruins, and uh, they sure are lucrative. And go for what I assume is the capital, Salimar, because it's quite big with 10 people. I don't know, but I assume it's the capital. And maybe we have to salt the earth on some of those cities, because uh, we really don't have the happiness to sustain such a large empire. Uh, sorry for talking slowly, I'm just not good at multitasking, so I need to find all the resources and put some... Oh, we really got a lot of Quicksilver going on. Really got a lot of that. Maybe we... Eh, nah, 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 I need... Empire growth comes before luxury resources, actually. It should be fine anyway. We are now making tons of dust, so we should also be able to uh, trade for some luxury resources, if indeed we do need more Empire Boosts. There! I could have sworn that orange was cra uh, not Cravers. <laughs> Maybe... Um, oh, come on, why can't I... Uh, Necrophages, it does even say the name here. I think... Makes sense that they become the cravers in endless space later on, right? Because they're also insects and they're also warmongers. Greetings! Let us see if our empires can live together in harmony. 
Yeah, that sounds believable from a insectoid who's already moving his claws and having a knife in here and that sounds <laughs> sounds really and you're also named Cutter because you're so peaceful. Okay. You're just peaceful now because you suck. But uh, that's not my problem. We're still gonna crush you like the bugs you are. Ooh, isn't that poetic? But first, we need to integrate some Arden Mages who keep resisting. And I don't know why. It's, it's all for your, for your own good, guys. My empire is better than yours, as you can clearly see now. You're squashing your armies like flies. So come on. Just give up the resistance and join the empire. Look how nice it looks. Uh, if we had that little green, we would have the f Canadian flag. Right? It's like that. I don't know what the tree is called, but... Oh, and they're fighting us. Nice. And they also have a little army and a hero, so that should be fun. Uh, my default is going for hold position, because then I could... Not I could, but I can. Ah, uh, wait. I need to stop the babbling, because I will forget that after the fight. So let's reactivate the gold. There we go. Now I can babble. Because um, I want to reposition my army and I just want to have them attack exactly the way and exactly the target that I give them. I don't want it to uh, have any own intelligence because the so-called intelligence that they have is mostly just causing me heart attacks because it's so stupid. So that's why I click hold position and then I'm ready to fight. Yeah. And I give the orders manually, and I will talk about that a little bit as I do it, because in my next playthrough, when playing on a higher... Wasn't there? Oh, the militia's reinforcements? It's so hard to see. There are small green units on the green... Uh, yeah, militia seems to be reinforcement. Oh, because they attacked me. Right, right, right. Okay, because if I would attack them, then militia, of course, wouldn't be a reinforcement. They would be part of the city army, but it's not like that. Okay, so they have a huge army. It's like two rumblers, and that's it. That's... really? Yeah, it's just coming to me now how pathetic that army is. Oh, well. And the rumblers do have a beam attack, so I don't want to eat that. Luckily, though, if you can... Okay, now uh, first a couple of pointers about the the combat system. You probably already know all that, but I'm still gonna explain it because <laughs> I'm helpful like that, <laughs> and I like to hear my talk myself talk. Basically, no, I'm kidding. But um, just to explain my thoughts behind what I'm doing in combat, so I don't have to explain it every time I do it. So now the um, my blockers are gonna basically tie up those guys here in melee. So we can't have the problem that the rumblers go and hit my ranged units. And yeah, that's basically all. Oh, and yeah, also what I was talking about earlier, the hold position. I will show that to you once the battle starts. I'm just making sure, because my guys have three range. So one, two, three. Um, it would be smarter to position them here. So we could also attack the enemy hero. Problem with that is if they stand here and this guy strikes back here, we could get hit by the beam. So um, I can't do that. One, two, three, you can attack him. One, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, okay. And we can have our hero staying there. That should actually be okay. Right, so now I can show what I mean. So, first of all, you can see the, the bar up top here. That is the order in which the units move um, based on their initiative. So here, our Iniqua Wings moves first, and then comes our Arden Mages, uh, our... What are you, Atashi Zealots? And then comes the hero, and then comes the enemy. Uh, which makes a difference, because if the enemy would move first, we need to hang back a little so they can't reach us, but... By the time they can move, probably they are already dead. We could also cast some spells, and they are cheap enough that I actually might... Nah, not really sure. Ah, well, let's just do it. Just for the fun of it. 
Okay, um, right, now I'm gonna execute the plan, like one Iniqua wing is gonna attack here, and one's gonna attack here. Now, if you have people on hold position, and they don't move automatically, like they will just stay, you can queue up orders, like you can, for example, have them move here, and then if you hold the control key, you can uh, give them an attack, like that, and you can see they will move and then attack. It's gonna be in that order. If you have them on aggressive or defensive, they will probably follow your orders. I haven't figured out when they don't, but if they can't execute their order, they will uh, do whatever seems logical to the AI, which isn't always what's logical to you. So that's the reason why I don't like the aggressive stance at all. Um, I, yeah, I probably should put these guys on aggressive, <laughs> but the enemy is so bad, it doesn't really matter at all. Okay, why we only do 8 damage? That's really pathetic. Oh, and we did 0 damage with our Nikwa wing. But yeah, we'll remedy that soon enough. Like, here come the first 100. <laughs> here come the second 100. Oh, man. Yeah, overpowered anyone? Once you get the chance as Arden Mage to take up your range unit, they are ridiculous, I have to tell you. Really ridiculous. Okay. Now I don't need any more infights. I can just move my Nequo wings out of the way. Because we don't need them anymore. Just gonna have two guys attack here, because why not? And two guys attack here. Yeah, should be fine. The militia needs a lot of time to be able to move up anyway, so. Uh, anything else about combat? Not really. I'm gonna abuse the combat system, or not abuse, but I'm gonna have to do a lot of... Well, we can just have that going on. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of manual combat once we... in our neck and play... neck and playthrough? Wow. Next playthrough. And... I'm gonna get a lot more in depth about how to move your units for maximum effect. But most of you watching probably know that already. Okay, now I'm gonna just put them on aggressive because uh, it, it's just enemy militia. I don't really don't care about that anymore. They can't even harm us. And I'm gonna have my Aniqua wings over here. But it should be fine. They should just... Yeah, there we go. Now they can move on their own because it doesn't really make any difference. What they do because the enemy won't reach us anyway. Just look at that. Sick, sick damage. But of course... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was saying the AI is still smart enough to get in trouble. Because now, next turn, the militia can reach me. And of course we don't finish off that guy, because why would we? Why would we? We go for the guy far beyond. Because then, next turn, actually, we can get attacked. Because we are so smart. Ah, man. The AI really needs an overhaul. But they're working on that. It's like if you check the death block, the um, the not the latest entrance, but uh, one of the later entrances. Oh, I actually think it's the latest one. Talks about a list of improvements they're gonna make, and uh, a lot of them are AI. So there we go. Uh, 21 XP, not much, but then again, it wasn't a hard fight. And now we can basically just take the city because there's no defense anymore. There we go. Whoop whoop! Oh, we got another city. Now, our empire is getting unhappier by the by the minute. And that's of course because we... Uh, oh, they're actually building a triangle. Nice. So we will just continue that. But first we need to get in the canal system, of course, the empire mint, because I do like my cash. And then continue the triangle. And surely distribute a little bit here. They're already set up perfectly, so uh, just distribute my units a little bit like that. And once they get happier, as explained earlier, we will get into um, some more production and food. 
Hmm, now it's just a question of how much of their regions I want to take now. Yeah, we are far ahead now. It's just a... Yeah, basically... Huh. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but... It, basically the game is won by now. It's just a matter of playing it out. And I will do that unless enough of you say uh, we don't want to see that, we know you won, we know you're awesome, go for the next one and ramp up the difficulty because we want to see you suffer. If you <laughs> tell me that, and a couple people tell me that, I will listen, because I'm a good boy like that. And I will ramp up the difficulty. Okay, we should now have, yeah, we got two level 2 districts, so now our city is becoming happier, um, and the more we build, the happier they will get. Problem being, though, we do need more population. And we don't have that currently, so why don't we just go for a little Palladian exploitation, because why not? And, well, they take long enough to build, I didn't expect that. Can we, come on, yeah, we can speed up that enough, and that should be fine. I don't need to grow that rapidly. It's just... We do need the basics, but then... We are fine. Okay, we do need two districts here. One after that. And what do we need here? Nothing really. We could go... I don't need... Oh well, I do need more. Hmm... Let's just go for the other mansion. And nothing else, okay. And I won't go for a mansion here. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, Turul, what are you doing? You have a lot of resources. Of course you got Palladian. Go for that. More Palladian. Wow. So I'm going to be able to trade a lot of that stuff on the market. And after that, I probably need to find a nice place for an additional district. And move my army for no reason, because... Why not? Go in the city, man. Ah, oh, no, I can't station them, so I need to do that next turn. Yeah. Okay. Ah, you also get a mansion and Palladian. Ah, why not? Why not? Just get that, so we're done with it. And can start accumulating it. Now, we do have level 1, level 2. So, if I build one here, we will have a nice line. But I'd rather build it here, so we can get a lot more food. Yeah. Just build another district here. And then we will have one... Two... One, two. Wait a second. One, two, three, four. So you will be level two. You will be one, two, three, no level two. One, two. You won't be either. But he will also be level 2. You already are level 2. So it's just going to turn him into a level 2, but then we can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it now. Uh -huh. I would actually believe that I study IT <clears throat> with all my math skills and whatnot. Ooh, a quest. One of the... Armies roaming in Dawnin has the treasure you seek. Find the army defeated. Make the booty yours. Uh, oh well. Do I want to do that? We can just go in the general direction because we do want to take a city here anyway. So maybe just. But I'm gonna go up top because I want to be able to defend in case. The Arden Mages muster up another army. And speaking of other army, I rather want to see that. So let's put a watchtower here so we can see what they're doing. And if they're actually moving into our territory and take another turn. Okay. I shouldn't be that happy, but <laughs> it's just... Even though it's just um, going through the movements by now, the game is really a lot of fun. What was that? How are they able to move that fast? Okay, so let's move one step here. Maybe here. That's good. Okay. Auto kill you, hopefully. There we go. And now we got the booty. If 
Follow tracks, blah blah blah. As they say, with mouse traps, it's often the second mouse that gets the cheese. One of the armies, blah blah. Okay, so we got the grass silk. And what now? Nothing? Okay. So I'm gonna go for this little. I'm not even sure if I wanna have Ikaim. Maybe I'll just salt the earth. The problem is, what I wanted to explain earlier and I missed, because I read that on the forums often that people. Um, capture cities and they're confused about when you can salt the earth and when you can't and why that is. First of all, if you do that, like here, I always forget to pull out the construction menus. Um, if you do that one here, the salting the earth, it will erase your city immediately, destroy everything in it, you don't get anything back. What you do get though is one settler for the city you destroy. So you can rebuild it, like if you count countered, countered? conquered a city in an in a region that really isn't you know isn't isn't the optimal spot or the optimal spot has changed over the course because now you're more science focused before you were more production focused you can just salt the earth and move your settler even though it's not recommended once you have a lot of tech in your city because that's all going to be lost but you can do that and you get back one settler but you can only do that in cities that you fully own so you can't just conquer a city and then immediately just raise it to the ground. Maybe you can get a faction trade or something for that, but or attack maybe would, will let you do it faster, I don't know. But with salting the earth it's not possible. So you need to wait for this percentage up top to tick to 100%, because if you look in this city I don't have salting the earth available to me. I need them to be um, part of my empire, so to speak. So. Um, that's the logic behind that. So you need to wait until you own a city 100% and you will suffer the unhappiness. So uh, if you already are at the limit of your happiness and you then declare war for conquest, you just have to take it slow. You just don't conquer cities as fast as you can, but just conquer them when you're ready to get them, you know, when your empire can take it. Because you can screw yourself over really badly. I did that in one of my games, um, single player. I tried around a little bit and it's a little different from endless space where in endless space you could overextend on happiness quite heavily uh, as long as you had the fleets it really didn't matter that much if you don't lose much fleet or many fleets then yeah it's kind of okay but uh, in endless legend for some reason it's it's not the case they um, you will suffer from lack of happiness a lot more let's put it like that so you have to be watchful for that and you have to be careful. So even if you have the advantage, like I have it now, if you overextend on on your empire's size, it can backfire quite a bit. So you need to look out for that. Anyway, enough babbling about that. Let's level up the hero. He got one skill and I'm kind of tempted to give him more movement actually. Yeah, let's do that. Because again, we do have a really, really strong army. But we also have one army, only one army that is. So we do need to be mindful of where we move him. Okay, oh, we got one army here. Yeah, you need to garrison those guys. Okay. Oh, so there's another. Wait. Huh. I probably will salt the earth on one of those cities that I conquered just to continue my faction quest. Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe in Ekaim, because really they're not far developed anyway. It's just a little, if you can see that here, it's just a really small city anyway. And Ekaim does have a lot of science tiles here. Got a lot of them. What's that, by the way? Shrubland. Huh. Oh, it's not part. Yeah, okay. It's uh, not part of this region anyway. But um, we do have. Or do we? Yeah, we... Actually... Can I even... Like, if I put a city here, it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five. And then I can pillar up here. It's gonna be nine in total. Isn't that awesome? So if I pull up here... It's gonna have two... Yeah, I should be able... If I put a city right on this river and put a pillar up here 
then I should be able to fulfill the quest. And I'm gonna burn down Ikaim to do it, but that's yeah, a little far in the future anyway. Okie dokie. Do we forgot anything? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> now there are some what's that? Some necro drones flying around our land, but I don't really care much. If they declare war, we can really just squash them. There's not much that will threaten me. The only real threat by now seems the rowing clans, because they're making points at a really fast pace. But then again, they're about half our points, and we didn't even didn't even invest a lot in our army yet. So I wonder if they even can put up a real fight. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, please let me know. Just leave a like, subscribe, or most of all, like I mention every episode, I really enjoy the comments. So uh, if you just have any um, anything to say about my style of Let's Play, about, I don't know, length of the video, about the... the I, I really don't care. I just like to hear an opinion on uh, what it is that I'm doing so that I can improve or continue what I'm doing, if you already enjoy that. That would be most kind. But, of course, I'm still gonna love you if you don't. And um, I'm gonna let you enjoy my content in peace anyway, without any... <laughs> without bugging you, I guess. And that's it for today. So, just have a nice day and see you next episode. Goodbye.